All right, in this video, we're going to be sweeping the head, as I was always told it was called, or most textbooks will call it tramming the head. We want to make sure that this head is lined up on the X axis this way, also on the Y axis this way. Because if I loosen these four bolts, the head actually tilts. So occasionally someone will take a heavy cut, they'll slam into something, and it will knock the head out. So periodically we want to check to see if it is lined up. So we're going to trim this head. First thing I want to do is make sure this table is good and smooth. There's a lot of nicks on it. And I want to make sure that the hone is not catching on anything. So I'm going to nice and lightly hone across the table. Then I'm going to take a bearing race. Now you don't have to use a bearing race. You can use, if you have a ground piece of flat stock, uh, any kind of uh, solid material like that would be fine. Uh, I try to sweep about in a six inch, a six inch radius. So I'll put my bearing race under here. And I'm going to use an indicator, the same indicator I used when I uh, land the vise. So I will stick this indicator right on the spindle, right below the quill. And I'm using this indicator for a reason, because I like this little screw sticking out so I can spin it without touching the indicator. Because if you try to move it with touching, by touching the indicator, it will throw it off. We want this bearing race, or if you just have a ground metal plate, about eight by eight or 10 by 10, that's ground on both sides, it's smooth and check, you can use that as well. Okay, so I'm just kind of getting it centered up. Now we're gonna bring our table. This is the knee, we're gonna bring the knee up that we touch. You notice the indicator tip is about 20 degrees. Down. So it's not horizontal, it's not vertical, it's horizontal and then about 20 degrees. So we give it just about 20 degree tilt on that indicator tip. Alright, so right there we just zeroed it out. So we're going to swing this around. Whoa, and we are out a country mile. We are negative four on this side, we are positive. Wow, seven on this side, so it's out quite a bit. So it looks like it may be high on this side. So what we're going to do, we're going to loosen these four bolts, which I've already broke them loose because they're usually really tight. So I'll break them loose and snug them back just a little bit. Give it a little snug. Okay, and what I'm going to do is this screw right here is like a worm gear. As you turn it, there's a gear on the back of the head and it will rotate that to turn the head. So I will just gently and very easily, I'm gonna turn this until that indicator tries to go backwards. I have no earthly idea which way to go until I start moving it. I just move it and see what happens. And that looks like it might be the right direction. So what I do, Again, I'm not trying to shoot for a number. I'm just trying to make sure whatever it is on the right, it will be on the left. So I'm about five and a half thousandths up. I am about one thousandths up. That's on the positive. So I'm gonna go just a hair more, but just whatever you do, don't move too much and you'll be here all day. So I'm just gonna barely move this. Okay, I'm about four and a half thousandths on the positive. I'm about two thousandths positive, so I'm getting closer. I'm gonna barely move it again, right there, and that might be too much. It jumped quite a bit. So I'm about three thousandths on the positive. Uh, actually, I'm three thousandths on the positive on this side. So, so it's three thousandths left, three on the right. So my goal is whatever it is on the right, same on the left. I want to make sure it's even. So once I get that correct, then I'm going to tighten these. And I want to tighten just a little bit and then tighten the opposite. Just a little bit. Tighten the opposite just a little bit. And let's check it again. Perfect. Three and three. 
So I'm gonna give it just a little bit more of a crank. A little bit more. A little bit more. And a little bit more. And I'll check it again. Good shape, three and three. Sometimes it may take you 20, 30 minutes to do this. It really depends. Some machines, as you tighten these, we used to have an old Acer machine. As I would tighten these, the head would draw and it would move. So it was a, it was a battle to get it lined up. So I want to make sure I get these really tight. Okay, three, three, perfect. Now let's check front and back. So to check front and back, I'm going to loosen those three bolts, and I'm going to turn this one in the very back here. So let me just see how close. We, whoops. Handle on. Okay. So let's set it on zero just to kind of see where we're at. So now the machine is in neutral. See, I have my high-low switch here, but it's in neutral, so I can turn it easily. And it is off about five thousandths. It's positive five in the back, zero in the front. So what I need to do is loosen these bolts. Be careful when you do this. If the wrench slips, you could bust your fingers. Technically, by all rights and rules, you should always pull a wrench, but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. So we loosen these three bolts, and, but don't loosen them all the way and then pull them back just a little bit snug. Once you loosen it, and just pull it back just a little bit. See, it's already actually moved, so we want to be careful. That it, it actually moved quite a bit. So now I see where it's low, and we'll get two different readings on front and back. Front may be negative two or three, back may be negative two or three or four. Our goal is to bring those closer together. So again, we're not shooting for a number. We're just trying to bring the front and back number, the variation, we want to bring it closer and closer. So we're going to barely snug this, and I'm going to turn it just, oh, I went the wrong way that time. Whoa. And it is touching. So I'm about positive two, so let's what I, see what I have back here. I'm positive five, so I did bring it closer. Yeah. And that's positive one, maybe one and a half, five. So let's go the other way and just be so careful because if you just breathe on this thing, it will take off on you there. It looks like positive three, positive five. Set it about right there is positive four, positive five and a half. We're going to go just a little bit more. About positive right there, I'm about positive four and a half, five and a half. Sometimes you may go one direction and it may just take you quite some time. So just be patient. The key is to barely move the head each time. Positive six and a half, positive five and a half. So I'm gonna move it until it's going up. There's positive six, positive six and a half. I will just go just a pinch more. Right about there, and let's see what we get. That's a little over six, about six, about six and a half. We can do a little better than that, so let's just move it just a pinch more. There's six and a half, a good six and a half on the front, good six and a half on the back. So I'm happy right there. My front and my back read the same. I'm going to just snug these. I'm going to be careful because I, I'm watching my indicator too. It's going to try to draw it up. I'll snug them. Double check. Looks good. Snug them. 
And don't use an adjustable wrench on these. You'll round them. Something terrible. Always make sure you get a box in. Either a 6 or 12 point. Looks good still. So I'm going to give it one more tug. Ooh. You got to grip when you do it. Mm. Check it again. Beautiful. So now, right left are even, front, back are even, so that's how we tram a head. And again, I think that you'll probably like this indicator better than most because it allows you to grab a hold and spin it because if you grab a hold of the indicator, it's gonna move around on you and you get a lot of false readings. So that's how we tram a head in the machine shop.